I've learned every single popular serve and I'm gonna give you one tip on all of them. From the underarm all the way to the jump toppy and maybe a tip on the chicken wing and arty serve. If you're interested in becoming a better coach, go check my Patreon now. From private Discord servers all the way up to monthly one-on-one -on -one coaching, I might have something for you. Go Jody. The underarm. When you're learning an underarm serve, it's very important you try and transfer some skills. The one skill I try and transfer is 10 pin bowling. That motion of 10 pin bowling is exactly the motion we wanna try and use when we do our underarm serve. When we bowl, we step into it and we go all the way through. That's exactly what we wanna do with our serve. A simple overarm serve. An overarm serve is the step just before we do float serves and topspin serves. And the one thing I want you to consider is using your shoulders and your rabs in the motion when you serve. Too many people attack like this, one arm. Look at my arm. Look how small it is compared to these muscles here, right? And these muscles here. Get very used to using your abs and your shoulders as leverage for power. Take a look. Watch where my shoulders start and take a look at where my shoulders are when I finish my serve. The float serve. My one tip for float serves is learn how to put different types of spin on the ball. We often learn how to put top spin on the ball, but we often don't learn how to put back spin, how to put side spin, and how to put the other side spin on. To be an effective float server, you need to learn how to put spin on the ball so you can eventually take it off. You're gonna wanna learn how to put back spin on it. Side spin. The other side spin. And of course, top spin. A top spin serve. My one tip for top spin serves is toss the ball with your hitting hand. If we toss with our hitting hand, the ball lines up perfectly with our hitting hand. So it's just much more efficient and simple. Compare the difference. Hitting hand, non-hitting hand. See how when I toss with my non-hitting hand, I need to throw it over the top of my body? Just adds a few extra calculations you don't need. Jump float serve. My one tip for jump float serves is don't lock into having a two-handed toss or a one-handed toss and do that forever. Explore what's good for you. This is what a two-hand looks like. This is what a one hand looks like. Make sure you practice what it feels like to do a toss with two hands and what it feels like to do a toss with one hand. It's really important you stay flexible while you grow. Jump topspin serve, my favorite. My one tip for jump topspin serves is explore a high toss and a low toss. When we first start out, we think we need to have the highest toss in history because it looks cool, but in reality, a shorter toss is better for us. So don't be afraid to explore the height of your toss in your jump topspin serve. I used to have a super high toss because I thought it was cool. I started exploring a shorthand toss and it was awesome. I loved it. The toppy float hybrid. My one tip for the hybrid serve is to learn how to put an immense amount of backspin on your serves. And that spin comes from this motion. A hybrid serve simplified is you putting backspin on the ball. So learn how to do this. And you'll soon be able to do this. The arty serve, which means you're using the backhand. A lot of people think I'm pushing my thumb inside, bam, bam, ineffective. I'm using the backhand to generate even more spin. My one tip for this is break it all the way down to the basics and practice hitting against a wall or a curtain. By doing that, you'll be able to feel that side spin, which is so inherently important for this type of serve because you never use the back of your hand. So you gotta get all the way back to basics. And the chicken wing. Even though this is a bit of a joke serve, here's one tip for the chicken wing. When you toss the ball for your toppy, toss the ball to your opposite hand. So I'm right-handed, I usually hit with my right hand. I'm actually trying to toss to my left hand because I'm gonna be contacting the ball spinning around here. So when you try and practice the chicken wing, try and toss to your opposite hand. I hope one of those tips has helped you and will help you on your journey and continue to help when you get all the way up to your jump float serve and jump toppy serve. You get better when you practice, so go practice serving. Coach Artie.